So my project is, the, um, is on the outcomes of post-operative stereotactic radio surgery in uh, breast cancer patients that had a brain metastasis. So the reason why we're looking at this is because um, the most common brain tumor is a brain metastasis. And traditionally, whole brain radiotherapy was used to treat the tumor, but as the name suggests, but as the name suggests, you're irradiating the entire brain. So you're treating the tumor, but the normal tissues aren't spared, and you're putting your neurocognition at risk. So as an alternative treatment, serotactic radiosurgery, or SRS, has been used, and that's going to deliver at a high dose of radiation to a focus point, so you're not irradiating the normal tissues and putting your cognition at risk. And also, previous studies have shown that surgically removing the brain, uh, the brain met before SRS actually shows a better, a better rate of tumor control as well as uh, less negative side effects. So our goal was really just to see how effective this treatment was and also look at any negative side effects that could result as a result of, um, in terms of radiation toxicities or tumor recurrence. And we also wanted to see what traits the patient had and what traits the tumor had that could possibly lead to the outcomes that the patient experienced as a result of this treatment. So uh, retrospectively, we looked at um, a total of 119 patients but after applying exclusion criteria, we got 58, and this was over the course of a 10-year period. So average age of the uh, patient was uh, about 54. Most of them were white, um, including uh, Latino and Hispanic. For the breast cancer subtype of the patient and the treated lesion, um, the most common type was hormone receptor positive, or ERPR positive and the average tumor size was uh, three centimeters. So for treatment outcome, uh, overall the big thing you can grasp from this is that there was about an 86% rate of tumor, local tumor control, and also there was a slightly high incidence of left meningeal disease at about 17%. And looking at our statistical data here, this is a Kaplan-Meier curve, which is basically looking at our overall survival overall survival of the patients and also determining um, how that um, results from their breast cancer subtype. So overall you're seeing that the triple positive patients actually had a better rate of survival. They had a higher survival outcome. This graph here, the big picture, it's a little busy, but the big picture is looking at um, your tumor location, whether that was supra or infratentorial or cerebellar, and the rate of uh, local recurrence. So overall here you're just able to gather that um, the cerebellar infratentorial tumors actually had a higher likelihood of local recurrence. So overall the conclusions, um, post-operative SRS in the form of CyberKnife, I forgot to mention that earlier, actually ha um, demonstrates excellent local tumor control at a rate of about 86%. However, you do want to keep in mind that there is a relatively higher incidence of leptomeningeal disease, which is actually uh, fatal in these patients, with a rate of 17%. Also, the cerebellar tumors, they're associated with a higher um, rate of local, re uh, local recurrence and lower tumor control while the triple positive uh, breast cancer subjects actually had better uh, survival outcomes. So all of this data kind of leads us to future, possible future projects that we can have. So this only looked at breast cancer patients. And as you can see, a patient size of 58 is pretty small. But um, a future project that's going to be coming into play is in a much larger um, database that includes different types of cancer and this uh, project is basically going to be run on a much larger scale. And also because of the relatively high rate of lethal meningeal disease that raises the question of what puts these breast cancer patients at a higher risk because it has been shown that breast cancer does have a higher association with lethal meningeal disease. So um, the database that we used was much bigger than this project. And so basically that opens the door for more um, information to be gathered, more tests to be run, and a much larger contribution to the field of radiation oncology. Thank you.